Guys, this is Gwen with your latest news on weather. Even though it, even though it is now fall, today's temperature is supposed to be to 85 degrees. Tomorrow it is going to be 84 degrees, and then Sunday back to 85. Pretty warm for fall. That's it, everybody. Have an epic weekend. Hello, there, people's fixin. I'm Colin, and I'm Glenn, and I'm Rudy. Welcome, Welcome to YouTube Reception. Reception. Legend of the Rofist, PewDiePie's new game, is out by the time you're seeing this. We don't know much about it yet, except for the fact that it is a game for mobile devices that costs $5 and is an adventure game starring characters and voiceovers for many famous YouTubers. I swear, if I hear the name PewDiePie one more time... PewDiePie is working on a mystery project that many people suspect is going to be his own show, and also... Okay, that's enough. As of right now, the most viewed you video on YouTube that isn't a music video is a 54 minute uh, video of children's nursery rhymes. It is currently over eight and a half million views. And in second place is the sequel to Charlie Bit My Finger, which was at one point at the top. It right now has a little over 8.2 million views. Then in third place is this really weird seventh episode of a kid's show named... 17th, Ma 17th seven, episode. 17th episode of this kid's show named Masha and the Bear. And it is all in Russian with English translation. It is about six minutes long and has 8.1 million views. A lot of people use YouTube for audio things like podcasts and music. Well, Google is currently implementing something for mobile devices that allows you to keep uh, videos playing in the background even when not on the app. It is called YouTube Red. Many people are speculating it won't be for free and instead it will be included in the YouTube Premium membership that is also in development. Currently, all that is known about this premium membership is that it'll remove ads. And now, here is Rudy Minor to talk about his favorite YouTuber. My favorite YouTuber is Vertigo. He is a uh, gamer that mainly records a game called Rust. His edit editing skills are really good, and he is really funny. Alright, check out Vertigo! Thanks for watching. If you want to be a swag swag <laughs> cast like me, simply approach Colin or Gwen. This is YouTubeception, logging off. Hi, I'm Calvin, and I'm your new host for Game News and Updates 2015. The new games for backwards compatibility for Xbox One are here. And they are Fallout 3, but with a purchase of with a pre-order purchase of Fallout 4, Gears of Wars 1, 2, and 3, and Borderlands with and Mass Effect. That is all for this week. If you're a gamer and you would like to be a, new, a guest host, let me know. You can join me on the show next time. This is Calvin, heading out. Hello, Lindsay here, and welcome to the new show, Meme Base, the school's leading source of random. Today we're going to talk about the most refined of memes, so if you want to feel like a sir, accept this challenge, but wait, I must go, my planet needs me, shirt. Also, while you're cruising through a galaxy far, far away, may the fourth be with you f with the new Call of Duty game. Too busy no-scoping zombies with your new game? Then take a sip of your Left 4 Dead 2 coffee mugs to make it to the last level with these Nintendo furniture sets equipped with two giant functional NES controllers hidden under the game port. This is Meme Base signing off. It has been a week since our last I ship it, and for that we apologize, but we are back. Hopefully there won't any, be any more hiccups throughout the year. Now, what you've been waiting for two weeks for... Simon and Watermelon. So majestic. Okay, we're not out yet? Great, anyways. This ship has sailed. Hello, I'm Miss Smile. And I'm Ethan. Welcome to the Hickson Update. We have two crazy story, news stories this Bye. week. Oh, Our yeah, first story is about right. animal rights. The People for Ethical Treatment of Animals, or PETA, is suing a British photographer because he claimed ownership of a selfie taken by a monkey. The, photog the photographer's claim to the picture is that he set up the camera that took the picture. PETA claims that the monkey is the lawful copyright owner of the picture and any royalties or fees charged for those use of the pictures. Our second story is about cash money. That's right, Ethan. A Domino's delivery man accidentally delivered $1,300 in cash to a California man. The man did not spend the money, but did the right thing and returned the money. <coughs> Sucker! <coughs> what? Nothing. Nothing. Well, that's all for this week. See you next time on... 
the Hickson Update. Hi, I'm Sammy Elding, and welcome to Freaky Facts, the show that makes you groan, moan, and roll on the floor laughing. Fact number one, the flag erected on the moon during the Apollo landing was purchased at a local Sears store for five fifty. Fact number two, when you receive a major electric shock, it's not the shock that throws you across the room, it's actually your muscles contracting, so basically you're strong enough to throw yourself across the room. Fact number two, Steve Wozniak, one of the creators of Apple, once put a locker bomb in a high school and spent the night in a juvenile detention center teaching children how to disconnect their ceiling fan wires and connect them to the jail bars so it would, be, it would shock people who touch the metal. And as Steve says, he didn't choose the thug life. The thug life chose him. I'm Sam Ely, and have a freaky day. Hi, guys. Welcome to Therapeutic Time with Simon. Today I'll be talking about awkward situations. Now, awkward situations are very, very awkward, and they're not even something I'm good at. But I do know some things about awkward stuff. One of the things is that you shouldn't say awkward during an awkward, awkward situation. Here's a demonstration of how it just makes the situation even more awkward. Oh man, this is a pretty awkward handshake. <laughs> Wink. Another way to deal with an awkward situation, specifically awkward silences, is to distract yourself with your phone or something like that. So like, you got a teacher there, and you're just kind of waiting in an elevator or something, and then you just whip out your phone, and you're fine. You don't even have to talk to the teacher. This is great. This has been Therapeutic Time with Simon.